And I'm in the back making all boss decisions yeah. I'ma just sit back and run on my check Man, I think that's a boss of tradition yeah. Got a white bitch, she's a sick yeah. Got a black bitch, she Brazil yeah. And she all calling the fit Make her swallow all of my chips yeah. I'm from the city, they rapping the stand And I went and put vault in the ceiling Don't try me, partner, I'm chilling You looking off the suspicious You can get popped with the glitch And I just bought an extension Ain't no score right where you lurking at Stop popping like it was a burglar Somebody show me where the shepherd went Roll the blunt as big as a turkey Hop up in the Tesla, start swearing it Had to go get that bag of what urgency Trying to get me a zig in the currency Try to get me a zig I done jump back on the zig I'm dope enough, all I really need is just some bags in the ditch Go get the cash and I flip Bringing it back to the city Go get the vacuum and seal it Stuffing the cash in the ceiling What's happening? Look, man, I'm back with another video. You see what's going on, Zillion. Everything going to Zillion. Like I told y'all last time, we got the apprenticeship going on. I know you see by the title what's going on. Real life apprenticeship type shit. Like I told y'all on the last vlog, if you want to learn some things, how I do what I do, or the whole method of what I learn and outcome I get, you know what I'm saying? We going to be going through that in this one of these videos. And the, the dope thing about what we finna do is I ain't just gonna be showing y'all, I'm gonna be showing my partner at the same time. You feel what I'm saying? So this is like real live apprenticeship on deck. Like, it ain't even no cap. Like, I'm literally showing him and y'all gonna be watching what's going on. He just said this shit up. Even beyond that, like, you got to know, like, the man just, he just ordered that. Well, that was like last week. This is the mask, masked. M A S T Tour. That's what he got, man. That's a good brand, man. Dragon Hawk brand. I deal with him. I get a lot of Dragon Hawk needles. You know what I'm saying? For y'all, man. That's what he got. You know what I'm saying? With the uh the uh battery on here to make it wireless, man, because that's gonna be better for your hand. You know what I'm saying? Even though I I use both. I like to use I use cords. That brother is my excuse. I use I use uh jet. Myself. You know what I'm saying? For mine. But I also plug up too, so. But you know, we going wireless now. He wanna get the feel of what's going on. And then you got the what? The fake skin right here. That's a good piece of fake skin to, to practice on. I don't know, one side means something, the other one don't. Do it feel different? It's, it's always both sides. Yeah, but they got like this powdery. Yeah, I feel that. I'm talking about wipe, wipe, I'm gonna wipe that down before I get started. It's good you say wipe that down before we get started on because that's part of the process. We were just talking about the stencil process and um, he actually did something that he started on and he um, he said the stencil came off. So I'm gonna show him the proper way to put the stencil on so it don't come off. Cause now it got to the point with me, I'm putting the stencil on so good that the shit don't even wanna come off. Like I just had a customer leave the stencil was on, <laughs> on both of the tattoos. Still so it was still on there like after I kept wiping and wiping. So that's what you want. So yeah, we don't even know what we're gonna do. He said something dope like a what? Like a um said a name or a word, a cartoon character. I I wanna do something because I tried the rolls and it was cool, but mm -hmm. on the parts I couldn't see it. I'm fairly new to it, so it got it got kind of confusing to me. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't really get the gist of it. So I said something like a, a safe tattoo. Yep. You know what I mean? I did pencil for 13 years, so it was like uh, the earlier stages, I was doing more safer piercing. Yep. But that helped me learn, to yep. learn the whole process. So right now, I just want to get started on working on learning my line work and the shading tech, different shading techniques. Technique, yep. just, the whole just of everything. But you got to jump in that head for the day. Yeah, you got to come on with it, man. You got you, you to gotta be great to start, but you got to start to be great. You got to know that's what's going on. So you got his uh, setup right here, man. They sent them in this whole little setup. And then the setup that, that we ordered and, and got, like, it came with a little bit of everything. That's cool to start. That's just like you say, you got to jump in here first. So you got the gun. That was crazy. He got the power box, and that's an option because right now he's using the mass battery that goes with it. He did, he, and they sent them some um, cartridges, man. That dope. Like sent them some shaders, some mags, and they sent them um, 
the cord to go to this. Mm -hmm. It's the pedal. That's the pedal. I even sent them a pedal. He you asked to right? order another one, but this yeah. one that came with it. That's the one that came with it. Got another one on the way. But I you don't need saying? it because of the battery. Right, because of the battery. Still but you still want, yeah, you yeah, you want all that. You want you everything. the tape. Yep. To wrap. To wrap, wrap yeah. Line. You know, to make it grip. You know Some what I'm saying? Stick. And the best. I already told you about Dynamic. Look, man, Dynamic, don't pay me to do this. I keep telling y'all about this, man. I am a big Dynamic fan, bro. I love it. Now, it might be better ink out there, but I'm telling you and showing you what Dynamic do, man. Get you some of that. I made sure that he had some of that. I made sure he had some Dynamic. Focus in on the greatness right there. Yeah. Had to get some of that Dynamic. You feel me? So, yeah, we don't even know what we're going to do. We finna find it and see, we finna go through that whole little process right there of finding. You say you wanna do a word and a name and, and a, um, maybe a little cartoon head and I'ma show y'all literally how I get down with finding my references and all that in the process I do. So, let's get to it. What I'm about to do is let him find what he's comfortable with of trying out on the fake skin which we got right here. So. That's what I'm finna do. I think that's the best thing instead of me trying to find it. And then I will guide him through how to find what, what he's looking for. He pick it and show him the best route to get this stencil. And then y'all be able to watch with him and see what's going on. You feel me? This is my best friend, man. Look. This is my big secret, man. This is the Holy Grail right here. This is the iPad Pro. This is 2019 version. Came out last year in 2019. iPad Pro. It is the key to my art life, I promise y'all. Like, this is the best thing. This is one of the best investments I made. Probably like 1200, you know what I'm saying? Hey man, you gotta do what you gotta do to get what you need, you know what I'm saying? Cause you make 1200 in a week with this, I promise you. You can't worry about it being 1200. You will make 1200 in a week or less with this same thing, with the methods I'm gonna show y'all. So boom. Um, on the, on the iPad Pro, man, there's a couple apps that you're going to want to deal with, man. I promise you it's going to get you where you need to be as far as getting tattoo stencils done. They got so much stuff for us in our uh, 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 genre of what we're doing, tattooing and shit. So, um, first thing, I don't like to find uh, my pictures on Google. I used to use Bing because Bing was better than Google. A lot of shit on Google is cheesy. I use Pinterest, man, I promise you. I use Pinterest, that's gonna be the best move ever. Everybody go get them a Pinterest account, man, because they hold the best images alive and, and how they set their whole shit up is the best, so. Pinterest, bro. So from now, you finna find, let me see if I can move this light around. So boom, all you gotta do is just go here to this, um, you know, with the glasses. Put in, type in what you looking for. I don't care what you say, just like Google. You can say whatever. I know you said something about cartoon drawings. I had already put type that in the top for you. And you see how they put their whole thing together. They ain't like Google, bro. They even break down eyes for you. Just from cartoon drawings, just from putting cartoon drawings, man, they just give you so much stuff. All right. He said Tinkerbell. <laughs> That's got some food in her goddamn mouth. Oh, she all had them fat jaw, bro. Might be Tinkies. All right, Tinky, we're going to download it. Mm -hmm. Download image. So, boom. Go on there, hit download image. It drops right into my gallery on my iPad. Now, the most important app you gonna need Procreate is Procreate. I promise you, bro. That little thing right there, Procreate right there, I promise you, change your life, bro. 
So boom, we're gonna drop this and procreate. Add. Drop this in now. I'll show y'all a whole breakdown of procreate right now. We ain't got time, but definitely. Alright. Got it in procreate. What I like to do after I get my image is hold this for me. I had to get my image. I always erase the edges. As much as I can, I get up on the image and erase all the access. I just want the actual picture. Cause you know, for one, we're gonna print this out. So we wanna save as much as ink as possible. I just want the image. So we just go in there and erase all the stuff around it. So we just got the image we want. Boom. Gotta burn it a little better in certain areas. Boom, like magic. All right, we're gonna say that. Here's another app. Now I showed you two. Pinterest, Procreate. Remember those. I'm gonna share that. JPEG it, say the image. The next one that you wanna download and get is Tattoo Stencil. It's nothing, it costs like a $1.99. Very simple, cheap uh, uh, app, but it is made for tattoo artists because it literally makes your stencil in front of you before you even print out the stencil. It'll make the stencil on the iPad and you can see it and tamper with that before you even print it out. So boom, stencil maker, browse. And just to give you an example, I'll go to, even before we use this, I just wanna show you actually what it does. Uh, this pretty much, we're gonna take a regular picture. This is what this does. Say, boom, got Callie Jennifer. Say I wanna tattoo Callie with the grill in her face. This is what this app does. It takes it and does that to it. Now it has made a stencil for me. I can print this out and put it on somebody and I got all the details I want in there. Now if I mix that, cause I can take in details, take them out, I can make it whatever I want. So if I took this image of Kylie, put it in there, did some alteration to it, took that and put it in here, I can make my perfect stencil. Those three things, those two things, procreate with this stencil, make it together, it's a beast. All right, let's get rid of that. We don't want this. Browns again. So watch what it does to Tinky. Boom, we want that, yep. Boom, that's exactly what the stencil is gonna come out to look like. We can keep taking out all these grainy parts. And I kinda use these grainy parts sometimes to show me where my shading gonna be. So I might not take it all the way out completely. I can see where the shade can go here and the line and the hair right here. So boom, that's cool enough. I'm with that, download that, 100% resolution. Boom. Now, go to my iPad photos. Boom. Now, I have a wireless printer from my iPad. So I just take my iPad, anything that I have in my images or whatever, I can send straight to my wireless printer and print it out. So, and this cost me nothing, man. It was like 60 bucks from Amazon years ago. So I ain't no telling what it is now. You know what I'm saying? So you, that's what you want. Wireless printer, iPad is a perfect match made in heaven. That's the print document, my photos. And the good thing about this printer is I can literally go in and change the size because sizing is very important on here. I can move it around, I can make it bigger, smaller, and that and the, any size and anywhere on the paper, that's very important. Printing out different sizes. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta guess, I mean you can kind of just guesstimate on what size you would want it to fit what you're doing. So this is another thing. You make sure you get you a wireless printer to be able to get your sizes right. Get your sizes right on here. So boom, I like that size. I hit print. And boom, we print. Boom. It's working. You ready to go. Alright, so now we got the stencil. Focus in on the grapes. We got the stencil of Tinky. 
on the paper that came out of this printer. So the next step, cause now it's just on a piece of paper. It's like how do we get this to get on the skin? So here we go. From this, you're going to need this stencil maker. This machine right here. It's very cheap, it's cheap just like this machine right here. It don't cost nothing. It's like, this copier here was like 50, 60 bucks. This is like 50, 60 bucks. Together you're looking at a hundred and some dollar combination. I promise you, pennies in the text world from what you want to make off of this. I promise you it's nothing. So boom, what we need with this is a sheet of paper. So get one sheet of paper. All right. Now you see the spirit box? Grab one of those out of here. Now one of those contains like three, four sheets of paper. The yellow, so grab the whole, yeah, the yellow from, the, from the clear to the yellow. It's one whole process sheet. All right, so what you gonna do? Remember this. Yellow. Yep, the yellow. That's the actual carbon paper. You see that black shiny paper? That's what the actual uh, stencil is made on. This is what you put on their skin. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get on this piece of paper that's going gonna to put on their skin. It's going to come out. So what you want to do with this whole thing right here, first thing I do is open it up. You open it up. Get that brown thin sheet out of there. That's disposable. That's just literally to keep the blue of this carbon paper rubbing on the white part. So just take that out. That's just a protective yeah. sheet. Yeah, it's trash. Now, what you wanna do is flip this over. You see this uh, perforated line right here? Mm -hmm. Tear that off as clean as you can against that line. Tear this whole yellow off. All you want left is the white and the carbon paper. So remember this step, y'all. And don't tear it from there, cause that'll mess up the, so it's like an actual, so I don't know if ripping. See it. Hold it right here. I don't know if it's gonna be able to see it on the camera, but it's an actual process line. You kind of hold your thumb mm -hmm. right here on it. Okay. And you want to ride that. This is very important because if you don't, it'll mess up in the machine. I'm off the beat every time I slip, I heat it. Throw that away. Some people, you know, keep it on that. I don't. Then you take this white regular sheet of paper and stick it in between. This is what you want. So you remove the brown, you remove the yellow, stick in the regular plain sheet of white paper. This carbon side always goes down. So it's gonna print this way. So you insert the paper from the back, you feel me? Get this carbon side down, and it's gonna come out this way. Just remember that, because a lot of times I did this and did it wrong, and be like, what's the problem, it ain't coming out. And that's what it was. Carbon side down, white side up, come from this way. Lift it up, stick it through there. Line it up, it ain't too hard to line up. You kind of guess to make it the hell more like that. Stick this in, you can either stick it in like this, or stick it in like this. I like to stick it in wherever side, wherever I put the image at, I like to stick that in the closest in first. So it's closer to this side, I just stick it in, I wanna go and get, the, get it printed. Because sometimes when you do it, and you do it the other way, if it was down here, it'll run and then might cut off at the end of the paper or something. Hit copy, and that's it, huh? It's gonna do the work for you. We got a carbon side coming up. Carbon copy. I mean, a lot of these food is carbon copy. It's done now, so I just hit some. Take that out of there. Boom. That's the carbon copy. It's a reverse of the original. This is the original. You see it is a, you know, flip side. You head that up to the light. You probably can see it. I don't know if you could or can't. But it's that. So you're going to take this, put it on the skin, and you use this thing as your reference. Looking at it while you got that. And that's it. You need some scissors. Cut it out. Put it on. What scissors is that? You ever found? Mm -mm. I don't know what the hell yeah, is that. 
Oh, yeah. Alright, we're missing the scissors, but we found a little box cutter. Usually I got scissors, don't worry about the box cutter right now. You just want to get the image out. We ain't even worried about how we got out. But another important note, especially when you put stuff on arms and bending areas, and you just cut it out like this, uh, another important thing you want to do, trust me, and it works marvelous for these stencils. See, I can do this. Okay, this is what I do. I just go around the edges 360 and make slits. I usually would do this with scissors, like I said, but I don't have none right now. And go around the edge and make slits like this in the stencil. So when I put it on something, it bends in any way. So it becomes flat on the skin, because your skin ain't flat. So if you put up some flat on it, it's not gonna come out flat. So you make the paper flexible, cutting these slits on the edges all the way around to where it bends to any way I will put it, it would not resist. And then you have skip lines in it if you didn't do this. So you wanna, you know, nice little tilt right now. So boom, now that we got this cut out, you wanna prep the skin. So you got the gloves on, I'm gonna let you prep the skin. All right. First thing you wanna do, now this is the secret. And I got a little story behind this too. This shit's funny, it's slick funny. But this how innovative you gotta be and sometimes being creative and an artist, it works out in your advantage. You... So boom, you got the water bottle. First thing you're gonna do, well you can spray the direct. What I do, I don't even wet the towel. I want to go ahead and actually wet their skin because you don't know what, it, what the, you know what I'm saying? You can go ahead and just, you don't need to be shy. Go and wet them down. You don't care if you get in their eye, whatever. You get your clean. A lot of be like, God, leave me spray it in, in, in my mouth. Shut your damn, shut your mouth. Shut your traps. Shit, I got to get you clean. Worry about none of that. I'm gonna wet you down. No freaky. He knows. <laughs> he specializes in wet. <laughs> you feel? Once you got that, so after you, you know, and what I keep in that bottle, I be like, what is that in that bottle? I used to order a lot of green soap. Now I just use um, soft soap and, and, and water. A very little small amount of soft soap and water to kind of just wet the water a little bit better. So that's what he just wiped his skin down with, just some soft soap, hand soap, literally, and some water. And that's what I use throughout my uh, tattooing. So boom, you clean the skin like that. But guess what? After you clean it with that, it's not clean. The key to making this Stencil stick from the beginning to the end of the tattoo is making sure that the skin is completely clean and sterile. So what I use is alcohol. Okay. So right now, this is the crazy part. I ain't been able since this Corona whole thing didn't, didn't happen, bro. I ain't been able to find no alcohol, none. Period. You know what I'm saying? You use seventy percent, eighty percent alcohol, whatever. Green alcohol, it doesn't matter. As long as it gets rubbing alcohol, it's gonna sterilize the skin. So this is what Corona did it made me help come up with a whole nother method, and this worked even better. I can't even get rid of the stencil after this. It's like only thing that's available is disinfectants and sanitizers. So guess what I've been using? Sanitizer. All you gotta do, squirt a little bit of sanitizer on the spot that you want to do. It's gonna clean the hell out of that spot. That stencil is not gonna go nowhere. Rub it in real good, just let it dry. Then you gotta wipe it off from that. That alcohol in it. And alcohol is actually 99% in uh, 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 sanitizer that it is in alcohol. So I don't think I'll ever go back to using just alcohol. It's sanitizer, hand sanitizer from here on out, the clear kind. I promise you. Now that he rubbed that off, you want to let that dry. Now a lot of people use uh, stencil stuff. That's what it's called. It's called stencil stuff. Squeeze bottle, you squeeze it out on the skin, rub it in, and put the stencil on. I've been using this same old school method. I love it to death. It, to me, it works better than stencil stuff. It's never gave me a problem. I ain't switched it. I think I'm going to create my own product from this. I ain't no thinking. That's what I'm going to do. Create my own product from this method right here. But what I do is, so you don't want to cross contaminate, I either do it on my glove, I rub right here, I know you've seen me do that before. I rub this, get all whatever that I touched before off of it, clean it real good. That's it. And, and now, do this. now rub it, yeah, you just want to you know, get a layer of it off because you don't know who, what, what next, even though you know you clean that area still. Yeah, rub it on there good. Alright, that's enough. 
Now, take your actual hand and kind of smooth it out, kind of rub it around. That's another little trick. Yeah, just take it and kind of smooth it out. Yep. Yep. Now, get Tinky right there and place the ass wherever you want her to go. Little firm, little firm, rub it out. Don't make sure that the, it don't move. That's what I do. I hold one place, hand right here, and just do everything from there. And once I know I got one place, I might hold it right here and slide my hand that I was holding with over to get the rest. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Hold it down for a second, and it'll be on there. That should be it. Now was your stencil that prominent last night? No. Nope. Now you see you might have one little skip line right here. But right. that you out there. Here you go. Yeah. Now he's getting smart on me. Yeah. You have this right. to look at. Right. I might do a little foldy. Exactly, and you want to let that dry. On my customers, I always put the stencil on. I tell them it's a process. You ain't just finna walk in and you just finna get the jump tattoo on there. You come in, man, you got at least 35 to 45 minutes before a needle even touch you dealing with me because I'm going to take the proper procedure. You don't walk in the hospital and you had surgery that morning and you say, man, come at 5 o'clock. And then time you walk in at 5 o'clock, your arm, um, you start getting drilled. I don't know. You might, you might walk in at 5 and don't get surgery. They ain't going to hit you until about 8, man. That's big preparations they doing for you. It's the same thing, you wanna prep, man. So I let that sit for a good five, 10 minutes. So that's what we gonna do. Let that sit for a little minute and then we gonna come back and get to doing what we got to do. But that is the procedure I use on stencil, man. And I promise you, right, I promise you, bro. Them bitches ain't gonna go nowhere. Hey. It's logged in. I'm, and you I'm see how it right, you see how it just, it pops. You see everything that's going on, even the shade areas. You know what I'm saying? You might have a little mishap like that. Either you can go back with a Sharpie and it's still clean and good. It's gonna still stay. And, or you can look and see, oh, that ain't nothing but a little baby little line right there. That ain't too much. So it's like you, you can run it how you want to. You know what I'm saying? But you can basically see everything that's going on. It make your decision right there and you still have your reference printer. So, but that's how that goes, man. Shit, lesson one, boy. Real goddamn big stencil lesson, man. That shit ain't shit. It's just, you need the proper tools. Boom, iPad. Boom, printer. Stencil maker. Get you a little paper stencil print, you know what I'm saying? Spirit, spirit paper. And you're gonna have a one tattoo, man. That's the first step of mapping it out, I promise you. It's just that simple. That's it. You know what I'm saying? And how I do my stencils. And that's pretty much what I do. Like I said, man, I done put my iPad in my book bag. But iPad, printer, stencil maker. You know what I'm saying? And when it comes to the iPad and the stencils, you want to get Procreate. You want to get stencil maker, where it's a cheap little app. You know, Procreate costs a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? But it's worth the investment. Like I say, man, I made thousands a week of investing in these things. So it, it'll be worth it. And um, you want to get you a printer. And with them three things, man, you know, you be get, you get, look, he's still rubbing on his skin. And what you still see? I still see the stencil. Okay. okay now let me do this. I'm going to wipe this out because I want to show y'all a difference from what I did yesterday. Just 24 hours ago. And today. It's crazy. It's real crazy. Yesterday, he didn't even know how to get all the ink off. <laughs> I just hit him on that. Like, bro, this is what you do. And I promise you it'll come off. Like, all that, this matters. This yeah, like all that. this matters, man. All this little information matters. So look, man, he went from, man, he really, he really tried yesterday. I tried hard. You know what I mean? And you can get frustrated too. So you gotta know shit will happen. Shit definitely will happen, man. You gotta enjoy 
the errors and the in the process. You gotta, you know, you can't, you know, you might get a little goddamn anxiety or something. Just smoke your blunt con eye and uh, you, you just enjoy the process, man. That's okay, so, the best thing. So this is the difference. All right, yesterday, somebody had put a stencil on that fucking bread. They didn't use the technique that he taught, he showed me today. So this was the outcome because I couldn't fully see the picture. And I can see it because the stencil went laid on correctly. Or it was, well to a person who know what they're doing, they can do it that way. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm doing. All right. Or I'm still in the, the just of learning. So on the parts that I was able to see, I did okay. But with the technique that he shot like up in here, I was able to see those. So those yeah. lines look better than these because you I- started to get lost up in there. Right, got super it's lost. Stencil was rubbing away. Along with the technique that he showed me today, I was able to, I mean, that's a total difference to me. If big, you big these, difference. That's what I'm talking about. Big, major difference. It's a big difference. He actually got to doing some shading today. Right, I ain't do no shading, period. So, you know, I mean, it's the whole picture. Is it? Is I mean, for day one, we we in the Alien Academy. I got the money. Like the tree, boy. Gotta get that one for sure. Hey man, I'm gonna put that on the bed. That's another line. Yeah, it is. You know what I'm saying? I got the tree, boy. I got the tree, boy. Yeah, but uh. You know, he was at least able to, he has a complete outline, man. And he see, and he uh, he took in a lot today, man. He took in a lot man, of information. You know what I'm saying? It's very inspirational, bro. Like, I didn't, know, I didn't know if I was going to get the gun and do it correctly. So that would have been a waste of money. But I'm putting the drive behind the motivation. Yeah. And I'm staying dedicated to it. So even when I'm, I'm not around him, I'm doing YouTube videos. I'm Must. watching other artists. I'm work, watching line work. Right. Then, if he's not at the shop, Jabo might be at the shop. Right. I call Jabo and be like, hey, bro, I just want to come watch you. They, they can learn from you. But that's the good thing about this YouTube channel, though. Yeah. Like, man, look, man, it's some people on YouTube literally that change. No, literally, bro, that change my life, bro, from. The way I look at finances, the way I look at tattooing, the way I look at business, man, YouTube is a big thing, man. Come, hey, man, come get with the Alien Academy, man. I'm trying to tell you. Because I'm going to show you what I do, how I do what I do, and y'all see the result. I ain't like I always tell folks, man, I ain't bet. When I say I'm the dopest artist on YouTube, and I mean that, that my self proclaimed shit. I ain't talking about because I'm better than nobody, man. That's just me. I'm logged in. Everything I shit, everything I do, dope, man. Everything I do works for me. I I see a big return in what I do, man. And so I'm just here to spread the love, man. Like the man said, we just sitting here talking about job, man. And y'all know how I feel about that, man. But yeah, you know I'm saying that's the blog, man. I really want to show y'all the uh, uh, stencil game, man. I hope y'all learned something from that. I hope you learn something from it, man. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what I do. And the stencils, they stay on. Great, and I'm telling you ways ain't about being cheap or expensive. It's about just logical ways of how to do it and get a great result, man. So take what I told you and apply it, man, see if it works. And till then, man, to the next apprenticeship or the next vlog, because I might be doing something in between that, because we do got the uh, website, ingenious.com, where it's ingenious, L-N-X. That's our links. That's what stands for links, and L-N-X, ingenious, L-N-X.com. You go ahead and go on there now, man. It's already logged in for you, man. Go on, spend your money. Go on, support. Go on, you know what I'm saying? Go on, go on, go on, log in. You want these paintings, man? You want these paintings, man? Hey, ingenialink.com, man. That's it, man. To the net vlog, man.